Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I hope that you guys are having a great day. A little bit of a rare one. I got no sunglasses on, but that's because I really don't feel like I need them. It's pretty dark and gloomy outside, even though I do like them for filming. But we got some brand new wheels for the Dirty Max. Very exciting. We'll get to those in a bit. First, we are going to load up the trailer and we gotta go help out Bobby, whose Dakota I ran into the other day. We're gonna tow that and uh, that was completely by accident. Uh, definitely wasn't staged or fake in any way. Well, at least uh, the impact was real. But anyway, we're gonna load up the Dakota, take it over to our farm property that we bought a while ago. And since we're gonna be over there, We'll give you guys an update on that as well. Those are insane, by the way. Black Rhino wheels, they look ridiculous. I can't wait to show you guys. I'm gonna get the trailer all loaded up and I will see you at Bobby's. Let's go, dude. I like your hoodie. Thank you, dude. Oh, you know who got that for me? A good friend of mine. Victor? What are we doing? We got a tarp on this bad boy here. I'm gonna work. Oh. We're, not, we're not gonna destroy it anymore. No. Right? At least not today. Not today. Thank God. I've had 100 people message me now. I, I would have bought it. I That's what they all it, say. Yeah, That's yeah. what they all say. So let's see if she fires up. I'm gonna pull it on. And she yeah, just pull. I'll put the ramps down and see if you can drive it right on up, buddy. Got this big old long bed here. I think it'll fit though. Oh, what a beautiful day. You're good. You're good. You're good. No. Right on there. Heck yeah, dude. Right on up. No problem. I like it. Looks good up there. All right, no straps. Just put it in park. Let's rock and roll, dude. Yeah, we're good. Doing oh, good. we made it. We're doing good. Yeah, now we just got to go through here. As long as your tire doesn't grab it first, I think we're okay. <laughs> yeah, we're good. All right, here we go. Well, there, yeah, just right open. Yep. We're looking good. Trailer's doing good. Okay. You know, I was, I was actually going to bring her over here before she... Was uh, was hit and, and I'm yeah. glad it was well, done. I'm sorry about that, words. by the way. I didn't I, see well, it. I know you apologize. Mike apologized. I didn't see it. Uh, I know. I didn't see it. The best reaction to that video is where he hits it and then five seconds later it's like, oh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Bobby. I'm so I'm so sorry, Bobby. All right, wow, this is back at the farm, dude. It's tight, gonna be bad. Man. We haven't been over here in Summertime, a Summertime, it's like, ah, oh, we don't. Can't go to the farm, dude. We got too much stuff to do. So, base. I mean, we should explain why the one big holdup with us is that we wanted to do a lot of uh, firearm stuff over here. We're working on it, but the farm is still here. Uh, still, you know, it hasn't. As you can see, it's pretty grown up now from what it was. Even better. Even better. Yeah. Um, but we got it. We'll have some fun over here, definitely uh, for the winter time. We're working on it. Like yeah. I said, it's it's a process to do anything with land and PA. It's not like. Like in Texas, you have like endless land. You can pretty much do whatever you want. But here, there's a lot of, there's a lot of laws in PA when it comes to like driving a vehicle on land. There's my airplane, um, you know, shooting on land. There are some laws that you have to abide by, especially if you're gonna film stuff and put it on the internet. But um, we're working on it. So that's a little update on the farm for you. Still got it though, it didn't go anywhere. As you can see, it's still, no, it's still here. Off-road park. Off-road park, Off coming soon. I, I said, we're working on it. Follow winter, man. We're, we're gonna do good. Yeah, yeah. Man, this is so everything is uh, just like everything is so much, so much work. Everything is so much work. Red tape, bureaucracy. But that looks cool. It does look cool. <laughs> poor truck, poor Dodge getting towed by the Chevy. Yeah, that's all right. That's pretty. That's pretty normal, honestly. Here we go. Oh, we got some grass kick up there. Oh, I like it. Oh my God, there's smoke everywhere. That looks nice. I've been missing this thing a lot. I mean, it's it, it it's been in my family for at least two years, I'd say. Gone on many camping trips with it. Uh, just it was a good little beater truck. People know like I'm not a huge Dodge fan, but this thing, I mean, look what it went through and it's still able to run. So I hope that we're able to take at least a little bit better care of it so that it's, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. Better care of it so that we can use it in the future. Okay, so here we are at home now and it is beautiful outside. Thank God, no more uh, doom and gloom. So here are the black rhino wheels we have for the Duramax and I'll admit, they're very different from what I currently have. You know, I, I have the, uh, I have 22 by 14s, fuel forged, 
And that's very much like a show wheel, you know, what I kind of call like a stance wheel. And uh, I've had that look now for a little over two years. And I do, like, don't get me wrong, I do love it. It looks really cool. Sorry for the wind noise. I mean, the stance is awesome. I do like that look. And I even considered getting like going bigger and going 26 by 14s or uh, maybe even like 24 uh, by um, 16s or something like that. But ultimately I decided, you know what? I ha I've had that look. This time let's do something totally different and go from like show truck pavement princess to like really cool looking military off-roader. And that's what these are. So these are 20 by 12s on a negative 44, which I actually had before, not these wheels, but the same offset. Um, so those are still gonna stick out pretty good, not as much as that. It should be around like two to three inches as opposed uh, to like eight inches. Uh, but we are going with a much bigger tire. So one of the cool things about dropping down in offset is I can go with a much bigger tire. Those tires from this angle don't look that big at all. In fact, they kind of look a little small, really. Um, but because they're so wide and the offset pushes them so far out uh, that really I can, even now, uh, I can't turn all the way without rubbing on my inner fender. But if we go with a less aggressive offset and a smaller rim, even we can even put a bigger tire on it and still get more travel and uh, be able to turn more. So that's kind of the goal. We're going much bigger. So the truck is gonna sit, <laughs> wait until you guys see these freaking tires. Uh, but the truck is gonna sit about three inches taller than where it sits. Uh, it will be a little less wide, but we're going with a 37 by 13 and a half 20. It's gonna be sitting tall. Again, a little more narrow, not that much, not, not a whole lot, but a little bit more narrow and a lot taller. So it should look really cool. Again, totally changing the look. These are very different. So not everybody is gonna like this look. You know, not everybody's gonna like the more uh, rugged kind of industrial look. Some people love that stance look. But again, I've had that. I feel like I want to do something completely different. And Black Rhino wheels are definitely a lot different. That is so, I think that is so cool. And uh, Black Rhino, really cool company. Not a sponsored upload, by the way. They did not sponsor me to make this uh, video. So I'm just saying this uh, completely on my own. These wheels are epic. I saw them on Instagram and I was like, I got to try them out. They also do a lot of charity work with a, uh, a Stop Rhino poaching organization. So kind of a cool thing. But yeah, Black Rhino. Arsenal wheels, 20 by 12 in a textured black. So it's gonna be, again, it's gonna be totally different, but I'm excited. Let's get them loaded up. Then we have to go down to Carlisle four wheel parts to get our tires and we'll get everything together back at Tire Mart, get them mounted and get them on the truck. Update for you on the Gladiator, by the way, I'm still loving this truck. I do find it a little ridiculous that it's $41,000 though. I mean, where, how have we gotten to a point where a base Jeep with a manual and a soft top. That guy's jamming out in his golf over there. Um, <laughs> a, a manual Jeep with like no options and a soft top is 41 grand. I feel like like 27, 28 would be right on the money for this thing. But I mean, you get a lot of off-road capability and whatnot, so I get it. Hold on, gotta shift. It's really fun to drive though. The manual is uh, super smooth. I definitely enjoy it. And oh, we gotta hit that yellow light. It's a ton of fun and don't worry we have many mods coming for this thing i already have tires on the way wheels on the way lift kit on the way we're gonna get started on this truck real soon you can tell i like it because i put almost 300 miles on it so far it had like a hundred when i got it Nearl. And uh, yeah, 381, so I'm definitely driving it a lot. Already threw my free tank of gas, so it's about time for the first fill up. Dropping off the uh, wheels real quick because I don't think the wheel, actually I know the wheels and tires will not fit in the back. I'm actually pretty concerned about whether or not the tires are gonna fit in here because the bed is small and the inside of the truck is not big either. So I'm a little, I'm a little bit worried if everything's gonna fit. Okay, and we're rolling up to four wheel parts in Carlisle. Pretty cool actually that I live not too far away from here uh, because this is where they ship all their stuff. So I get it pretty fast <laughs> because it's only like 30 miles away. Um, but if you've never been to their store, it's pretty cool. I would definitely recommend it. They got some awesome stuff in here. It's just kind of fun to like look around. I mean, like that Jeep is very cool. Probably an employee, maybe. I don't know, but I'll show you guys in a second. Heck yeah, Jeep. Nice, what are those? 30, 315.75, so that's like a 35-ish. See what I'm talking about? Look at all that. 
bumpers, tires. Look at that, the toy store in here. All the wheels they got, those are cool. Well, good news is they are bought and paid for. The bad news is there goes like 1500 bucks, but, but uh, tires are expensive, especially big ones. So we can go pick them up and uh, we'll go back to Tire Mart and then we'll see what these bad boys look like on the truck. I cannot wait. It's gonna be freaking awesome. It's gonna be awesome. The Duramax is gonna look so different. Look at that, even the Nissan Mar or Rogue is modified, all cool looking. This is the uh, shipping part. Look at that giant ceiling fan up there. Looks like a helicopter blade. Pretty much every time I order something offline, more than likely, it comes from here. And with tires, like I save literally $400 if I pick it up as opposed to uh, shipping them. So I always come down here. For little stuff, you know, it's like 10 bucks. I don't really care. But um, definitely want to save a couple hundred if I can. Find out if they fit in the back of here. I think they. I think if we put them like this, like face, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but if we stack them up like that, I feel like they'll fit. 13 and a half times four, so you're looking at 54 inches total. I think the bed is more than 54 inches. Should be. Thanks very much. Yeah. I'm just gonna move around a little bit though when I'm driving. I kind of don't want them flying back and forth. But I don't, I'm, it's not like they'll come out. I don't know. Should I, should I say send it? Just like that? All right. Those look epic. Looking like straight up MRAP wheels or something. I don't know what you call it. But uh, I got my axles all painted up back there and we're ready to mount, buddy. And Bobby's gonna put those on his truck. Am I? Yeah, absolutely, dude. Freaking sick, guys. Holy macaroni. Holy macaroni, dude. Oh! Go. Woo! Does it by himself. Jeez! But military truck. Oh my god, that looks cool. I love it. I love it. All right, let's get the other ones on. <laughs> like talking about random numbers, like, oh, 34, 35, 37. Doesn't really mean a whole lot, but when you see them side by side, you can see a pretty significant difference between the two. I mean, that is definitely gonna look a lot different going down the road. And it already raised the back up like a solid, like three inches. So the Duramax is gonna sit even higher now and it's still poking pretty good. I feel like we're not as bad, but we're definitely, we're definitely still at risk of uh, getting pulled over. So the fun will continue, I'm sure. Oh. Yes. Now I know, again, I, I know that not everybody's going to be into this because it's very different from what I had before, which pretty much everyone loved. But I mean, I think this look is super cool. And, uh, you know, I might go back to like a stance look then for the springtime, but for winter, this is going to be epic. It looks so, so cool on this truck. It totally transformed it. And, uh, you know, again, I know like just talking numbers randomly, doesn't really mean a whole lot when you're not looking at it but the truck now sits a good like four inches higher than it did i mean it really made a huge difference these tires are massive thought about going like 40s which i think i could fit but i'm kind of glad i didn't because that would be just insane that would be insane i mean the truck already like look how high so when i go to get in it's already like my chest is at the height of my seat. It's crazy. It is so much higher than it was. Like it is so much higher than it was before. It's nuts, which I really didn't think it would make that much of, of a difference, but it, it definitely did. So that is the look right there. Try to give you a little, little full shot. Love the little Rhino emblem. That's very cool to me, but yeah, I love it. So the truck is now on the biggest tire it has ever had. Now I just drove it around the block for the first time and I'll tell you one other thing I noticed right away. After two years, I'm used to driving on the 15 wides, but holy crap, does it ride and drive a lot better now. Like it is way, I didn't even realize how bad it drove on those and like how bad the braking was and steering and everything. And this is so much better. So it's definitely, I mean, you can literally tell it's way better on the truck. God, I can't even believe, I can't even believe how big of a difference that was. So that's kind of a nice little bonus I didn't think I was gonna get. My brakes actually work again, which is kind of cool. And they are about 50 pounds lighter 
on each corner. You definitely tell having those insanely heavy wheels and tires on it, uh, you know, it's definitely taking its toll. So this is gonna be easier on the truck as well, just kind of an added bonus. And uh, yeah, that is it for this upload. So let me know what you think of the Dirty Max's new shoes. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Take care and have a great night, guys. That's a pretty good angle of the truck right there, not to reveal anything else, but um, it's a pretty cool angle right there.